How's it going guys? Kels here with another Destiny 2 video and today we are reviewing the Crimson Fully Souped Up Catalyst and ready to go. A shout out to my friend Sparky11212 for game sharing with me for me to try this out. Very appreciated as I've been very unlucky with the Catalyst but just today I did finally get my first one for the Borealis. It does require 450 sniper kills, 150 with each element. So once that's complete, I'll be reviewing that as well. He also let me try out the boot gun, the tractor cannon, so expect a review for that in the upcoming days. So how do you get the catalyst? Well, it's done through normal play. You pretty much have to hope the RNG gods are on your side and as you defeat an enemy, it has a chance of dropping. It's not restricted to mages or yellow bars or anything. It is literally any enemy can drop this. I've read people getting this through story missions as well so it can drop from absolutely anywhere but once you have the catalyst and you've applied the catalyst what next what's the next challenge well the next challenge is to get precision kills when you complete this your crimson becomes fully masterworked with that nice gold bezel around that we've become so accustomed to now in destiny 2. the question is however is this worth it First, what does the Masterworks add to this gun? Well, it gives it the orbs, as we come to expect with the normal Masterworks, but in addition, it gives it an additional 20 range, bringing the range stat to 100. Now, I know what you're saying. Range is always good in a hand cannon, but Crimson is no ordinary hand cannon, and the burst only makes it more difficult with the recoil to control. The question is, however, does the extra 20 range add anything to this gun? The answer is a resounding no, sadly. In fact, I took this into PvP and at 24 points per shot, assuming you land all three, you get 72 points of damage. You will need 3-4 bursts and for them all to land to get a kill. It doesn't get better sadly in PvE either. You never really notice the 20 additional range and the health regen is poor. For the first wave of escalation protocol, this could be useful with the extra range so you're dealing max damage from a little further away keeping safe, but ultimately the Crimson never impressed to begin with and the Masterworks perk has all but condemned this weapon to the vault. It's highly disappointing. It is a good gun for small trash mobs, but then with the Huckleberry now available, what possible reason could you have to use the Crimson? The Masterworks was its one and only chance to seek glory and though on the stream when they announced that the 20 range was going to be on the Crimson and it really did sound enticing. Ultimately, it's a massive letdown and doesn't really add anything to this gun. The fact that it's a burst means that its accuracy is always being impaired. It's a hand cannon, but it's not a high impact hand cannon. The better devils and the like simply still is the better option. So to summarize guys, the Crimson is a great looking gun. It's one of the easier catalysts to get and it shows. It did nothing to make the Crimson stand out and it's a real shame. In fact, I'll go as far as saying if you're not a completionist, avoid this entirely. It's really not worth the time investment. Do any of you have this catalyst for the Crimson? What do you think? You like it? Underwhelmed by it like I was? Let me know your thoughts on this gun as I am eager to hear a differing opinion on this. Thanks to Sparky11212 I also have playtested the Masterworks boob gun tractor cannon so expect a review on that in the next day or so and yes it's a lot more favourable even if the Masterworks adds little. More in the upcoming video. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you found this useful drop a like, don't forget to subscribe and remember to hit the bell so you stay up to date on all things content related as they are released. Thanks for supporting the channel, I'll see you in the next Destiny 2 video and above all else guardians, remain legend.